Hey guys, BJ Posnecki. One question I get a lot, uh, or actually it's more of people kind of in a panic, that they hear dripping water. So I wanted to shoot a quick video about what's called thermal expansion. Thermal expansion happens in heating ducts when you're turning the furnace on, and uh, even though the ductwork is inside the house, it's still cool. And now you got these high efficiency furnaces turning on and blowing, you know, extremely, well, it's, you know, you're blowing extremely hot air. I mean, the air passes through a burner. So it's like passing through fire and heating it up. Um, and what happens is, is that metal ductwork expands and contracts. And as it's expanding and contracting, as well as plumbing as well too, even though your drains are inside the house, they're cool. Now you go turning on hot water and it runs in the pipes and you can get the duct work or the pipe work. You can get ticking, popping, crackling, a various amount of, uh, a various number of sounds that you could experience. But the one that's the most alarming is, and I don't know what it is about the acoustics and how this happens, but it can literally sound like dripping water. So I'm down here in a basement and I turned this furnace on. I might've turned it on a little too quick before I started shooting this video because it already stopped. But, and now the ductwork is already heated up and it's, and the, 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 the video, the, the speaker or the microphone may not be able to pick it up anyway. But I came down here into the basement because when this furnace turns on here, you'll hear a dripping sound and it's ever so faint Now, I'm not sure if the microphone's picking that up, but it will sound like drip, drip, drip. And I'm also going to take you to a, uh, I'm also going to take you upstairs to a vanity real quick. And, and so you can experience what it's like uh, with a plumbing pipe as well. Okay, now we're upstairs in the bathroom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the water on, hot. And this may take a minute. And I got my sidekick. You want to say hi, Rocky? You want to say hi to the camera? Look at it. Right here. Look. He's getting camera shy. It's the second episode. This could take a minute. Because we got to wait for the water to heat up. We'll be right back. I'm gonna let this water heat up. Actually, I, I hear it. So I turn the water off so you can hear it, and hopefully, hopefully the microphone is picking up that sound. Very common. <clears throat> you have metal ductwork, PVC plastic plumbing drains, and also to a new modern day uh, building code practices, they require you to fire stop all the penetrations. So as pipes, stuck work, anything, conduit, anything that passes through from, you know, the first floor to the second floor, you know, basement to the first floor, whatever, as you go in between floors, everything has to be fire stopped. Well, that now that, you know, that fire stop foam hardens. And what it does is it even restricts allowing things to expand and contract even more. So I think, I think on top of the building materials nowadays, you know, you know, the thinner ductwork, the plastic drains, as well as the fire stop, everything combined, you know, and then now a lot of times nowadays too, um, you know, they're, you know, you know, with, with making things cheaper and trying to save money, a lot of times uh, plumbing walls used to be a two by six wall, which, you know, was a lot wider. Now they're, they're putting stuff in the two by four wall 
and um, you know all it is is half inch drywall. So you you know you can hear everything in the walls a lot more uh, than you used to be able to. So it's actually funny while I was shooting this, my phone actually jammed up because I ran out of storage, and I was going through and clearing it out, and I happened to find a video from one of my customers, and um, uh, that they, they had a video that they had sent me. Um, it, exactly at, you know, this situation. Oh my God, I'm hearing water dripping in the house. So I'm going to cut over to that video. You know, just disregard, you know, you could hear the kids screaming and crying and, and whatnot. They're a younger family with younger kids, but uh, I'll cut over to that and then come back so that this way you can, you can see um, how pronounced, how loud it can, and it can actually be. So as you can see in that video, that is something that you could experience with it being that loud. Now, the disclaimer is, is obviously check to make sure that no water is leaking. So, you know, you're going to have to kind of process of eliminate. So turn the furnace off, turn all the water off. Okay. Turn every plumbing fixture in the furnace off in the whole house. Do you hear water? You know, now if you do hear water and something's leaking, now that's going to be one of your supply pipes, either the hot or the cold, something's leaking. Okay, if everything is fine, now what we're going to do is go ahead and turn on the cold water. Let the cold water run for 15, 20 minutes. Do you hear any dripping? Turn that off. Turn the hot water on. You know, and this is every fixture in the house. Turn it all on. You know, do you hear it then? You know, yet you know, yes or no. You know, more than likely you're gonna hear the drains. Turn that off. Let everything quiet down. Now turn the heat on. And you know, you got to look for common patterns. Is it when the furnace is on that you're hearing the um, the ductwork expand and contract? So if you're still nervous after watching this video, you can always what your best bet is is stuff like that that is is sound related. Take a video. Because obviously you can't capture it with taking a picture, right? So take a video like my customer did and then send it to me, you know, and we can we can go from there. But nine out of ten times, if you're experiencing a dripping sound and you're not finding any water damage throughout the whole house, you know, obviously go through the whole house, check for any signs of, you know, water damage anywhere. You know, go all the way to the basement if you have one and check the whole place. And if you're not finding any water more than likely what you're experiencing is thermal expansion. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you're looking for a home inspection in the Chicagoland area, give me a call. My number is 773-403-3298. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.